everybody, how you doing? Um, this is Don Ye. Um, a lot of times I get questions as to, well, two, uh, two uh, questions mainly is how I get my recordings to the quality to sound so good and where do I get the acapellas from for my uh, remixes. Um, well, for those who, who don't know, um, I'll you know explain it. Those who know, I mean, you, yeah, you you know this already. But for those who don't know, um, first off, you know, in order to get like um, a, a nice quality, you know, CD recording uh, sound out of your uh, YouTube videos, is um, I don't um, I don't use the uh, the mic from the digital camera. I just use the digital camera to get good video. Um, or if I'm doing a remix or anything like that, I just, um, you know, I um, just use my pictures, of course. Um, but to get the sound, I'm using some type of recording program or I'm plugging the keyboard um, through my audio interface or, you know, through my mixer or whatever. Um, and you can get an audio interface from any um, music store, Guitar Center, American Music, or whatever your Sam Ash or whatever musician's friend, um, you get an interface, and you know mine kind of looks like this. It's the uh, Tascam uh, US one forty four, um, and there are different types of interfaces. Um, as long as you can, as long as it has uh, two inputs and two outputs, you know, um, right and left in, and uh, right and left out um, and then you just uh, record um, your keyboard sound or your praise break track sequence whatever you got you just record it directly in and then you take the video that you recorded and the audio that you recorded and you put them you know you time them right you know and you just put them you know you just time them up sync them up synchronize them that's the word I'm looking for and then uh, and then you bounce it out, you know, and that's that's pretty much how you do it. And I'm 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 doing this video because I get quite a few um, questions as to how um, that happens, you know, how I I'm able to do that, um, and I you know see other videos, and these these are really talented, really talented musicians that just don't really know what tools they need to use to get their video recordings to sound as good as they want it to sound. And so that's that's really what it is. You know, you need uh, a recording program. Just, you know, it can be any recording program as long as it records in stereo on your computer um, and, you know, an audio interface, you know, for uh, recording from your keyboard directly to the computer. And if you want to even, you know, if, if, if computers aren't your thing and you're not exactly uh, super computer literate as far as how to get around, you, I would even encourage getting, you know, a CD recorder and uh, plugging your keyboard or a tracker or a sequencer or whatever up to your CD recorder and record it to CD and then put it in your computer and then rip it to Windows Me Media Player or iTunes and um, and then you can um, you can just take your video that you recorded on your webcam or whatever. And uh, sync it up with the recording that you recorded on your on your uh, on your uh, CD recorder or whatever. Um, it's just I just want to help you guys out because uh, you know a lot of people want to know how to get that sound. You know, and uh, there's a lot of talent out there, and uh, people want to get noticed, and they want to they want other people to hear them. But you know the you know the ear, the consumer ear, and also the critical ear. Uh, the critics get turned off when they hear, you know, a mono sound or whatever, and not too many people can hear beyond the sound um, into the talent and to hear the potential, you know. And so, um, you want to be able to catch folks' ears as soon as they uh, click your video um, for those, you know, who might be listening to you for the first time or anything like that. And so, um, you know, yeah, just get your audio interface or get a CD recorder or whatever. The, the point is you want sound, you want direct sound to your computer. 
either way it goes, whether it's a CD or anything like that, you want the sound to come directly from your keyboard to you if you don't want a mic, because the mic's going to capture the room, it's going to capture everything else, and it's not really going to be a, st a studio. Um, you're not. It's not really going to sound as great as it would if you plug your keyboard directly up to it. Now, I do have videos on my channel where I used the camera, but that's because I didn't care. I just wanted to capture the moment. But if I'm really trying to do, you know, if I'm doing a remix or something like that, um, that's really what that is. I'm using a recording program or I'm using a, uh, I'm plugging my keyboard directly up to my computer. Um, acapellas. Um, I get the acapellas. There's tons of sites that you can go to. As a matter of fact, if you Google acapellas, you will find sites where, you know, they let you download acapellas of, of your top 40s or your the top songs or whatever. And um, you download them and you play to them. And that's basically um, what I do. And so, um, you know, and, it, it, you know, some sites you do have to pay. It's worth it, you know, if you really want to get into remixing and um, remixing acapellas and stuff, you know. And then there are some sites that are free. And so, yeah. So, um, good luck and, and, and God bless on your recordings. And I just wanted to give you all, you know, a couple of tips and some tools that you would need in order to make you bring, take your, you know, YouTube videos to the, to the next level as far as your audio is concerned. Um, so that, you know, when people play and other people hear it, it sounds good. And I, I see a lot of cats out there, musicians and stuff that, you know, they're very, very talented and it's good, but, um, they want to know what they can do to take their music quality, uh, video quality to the next level. So, um, that's it. And, uh, y'all, y'all, uh, y'all go ahead and, uh, have a blessed day. I'm here in Nashville, uh, Tennessee, uh, getting ready to play for the Kentucky Derby. So, yeah.